Dob of the morning to you folks. Sports Degenerate here in picturesque Anchorage, Alaska. Who would have thought it? We got mud flaps, we got mountains, we even have great weather, which is a rarity here. You know, I understand that people have been talking a lot about a guy named LeBron James, the king. No, 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 no. The Tampa Bay Devil Rays, they're the kings right now. This is the team that was on the brink on July 2nd. They had lost four of seven games. They looked like they might be headed away from the race. A few mosquitoes here. Instead, they turned it on. They've won six straight. They're keeping pace with the New York Yankees. And the American League East is only two games out of reach. What a way to head into the All-Star break. Since we're talking about hot teams, how about the Kansas City Royals? Kansas City Royals have won eight of their last ten with their new skipper. And I'll tell you what, Mike Avias, their second baseman, has hit safely in seven of the last ten games, and his weather stats are looking great as they roll into Chicago to face the White Sox. As a matter of fact, Avias bats .086 over his career 300 batting average with a 77 degrees forecasted for U.S. Cellular Field in Chicago. Now let's look at the flip side, somebody whose weather stats are not looking very toasty, and that would be Detroit third baseman Brandon Inge. Don't get me wrong, this guy's been hitting like a tiger lately, batting 361 over his last 10 contests. He's keeping Detroit in almost every game, but as I said, his weather stats are on the rocks against the visiting Minnesota Twins. Inge bats .119 under his career 238 batting average, with the 5 mile an hour winds forecasted for Detroit. You'll probably start him anyway, but don't make him a lock. Now let's move on to our bumps and bruises, and that would be Brian Moeller. He's a Houston pitcher. He's done until after the All-Star break with a right, with a strain of his right groin. I'll tell you what, he's not concerned about it. He says all he needs is the All-Star break, and he'll be ready to go. However, he will talk to a doctor today to find out exactly what's going on. Thanks for joining us here in Alaska. Again, I'm the Sports Degenerate. And tune back in with us next time. We won't be in Alaska, but there might be a young lady who replaces me who is just bursting with talent.